Good day, folks. Today we will show you all the shady secrets of the Pawn Stars experts. Producers hire the experts. Over the course of the show's 16 seasons, we've been led to believe that the experts are friends of the Harrison family given that they've been in the business for decades and are likely to know a few industry experts. But the experts who appear on the show are hand-picked by History Channel producers and have nothing to do with the shop at all. This is a resolution and adventure medal. This, this journey lasted three years from 1772 to 1775. Of course, some of them have formed friendships with Rick and his crew over the years, but don't be fooled when the guys say they're going to call a buddy because they're just experts hired by TV executives because they appear TV friendly. In fact, the vast majority of them have worked in the entertainment industry before the Pawn Stars did. Story. Probably talking about twelve to fourteen hundred dollars. Okay. Thanks, man. All I right. really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. For a serious collector? The best expert. One of the most popular specialists of the show is Doc Phineas Castle. The eccentric gentleman aspires to know everything there is to know about anything, but his abilities don't stop there. As it turns out, the doctor's real name is Ken Castle, and he's been in show business ever since he was six years old. His credentials are amazing. Jones. Hey, Phineas. Jones. Good. Really good to see you, brother. Well, I think you're gonna be even happier when you see what I have here. Wow, that's a Roman lamp. Bear with me. He's danced at Disneyland, developed his own shows, bid on TV appearances, and even modeled in his peak. He was signed to Roman Castle and was one of the top male models of the 1970s, appearing in magazines such as Montgomery Ward, J.C. Penney, GQ, Italian L, and many others. Uh, cherubs. So almost like at Valentine's Day, you know, I have these little angels walking around, they're shooting people with arrows. This would symbolize, let's say... With a career spanning over 60 years, he's basically done everything you can think of. Doc Phineas is undoubtedly one of the most successful specialists the show has ever featured. Tested it pure gold. Wow. I said, do you still want 1500 Because I will give that to you right now. <laughs> we flipped it at Sutby. Jesse Amoroso Scams. When it comes to vintage guitars, Jesse is the go-to person for the men. Amoroso has been a fixture in the Vegas music scene for two decades and is a well-liked member of the community. He not only owns Cowtown Guitars, but he also runs a couple of other companies in town with his wife Roxy. Although there's no doubt that Jesse is an expert in guitars, there have been some complaints about his business activities on the internet. Let me say that. Where did you come up with this thing? Hey, you know it. Everything walks through that door. I mean, it's a cool guitar. It's a custom shop, Gibson. One user on the Les Paul forum describes their negative experience with Jesse after purchasing a guitar online. When it arrived, the item was so badly wrapped that it couldn't even be played and it weighed significantly more than what was described as the customer only purchased the instrument due to its supposedly super light weight. They tried to return it at first, but things quickly turned sour when the music mogul ignored numerous messages and eventually abandoned all complaints. Almost all the customers shared the same thing as they promised to never buy from his store again. Everything in the store that I possibly can that's made in America. We deal with companies like Soldier out of Chicago that makes guitar straps the way they were made in the 60s. Our the unreliable Steve Grad. Around 2014, Steve Grad, a former sports journalist who abandoned a lucrative radio job to pursue his interest in memorabilia, arrived on the show and quickly became known as one of the world's top authenticators. The smooth-talking gent did well on the show, but he received backlash earlier this year after appearing at a collector show in Los Angeles on behalf of Beckett Authentication. Steve had a booth where visitors could take their purchases to ensure that they were genuine, but it appeared that he didn't know what he was doing. Madison basically did everything for the founding of the United States. Renaissance man, he was a Secretary of State to Jefferson. And then he became president in 1808. I mean, he pretty much did everything. According to a post on Autographed Planet, Steve told one woman that her purchase from another stall holder was a dud. And when she returned to the seller, they were furious because they had seen it being personally signed by the star. 
When Grad was confronted about his mistake, onlookers claimed he became verbally abusive and physically threatening. An LA police officer approached Beckett at the time, and he later filed a report. Some collectors also say that Steve was charging $6 to put stickers of authenticity on products. They needed people to authenticate autographs. So is it, is it a, like, you will look at it and then give a certificate to whoever it is saying, okay, I'm an expert, I looked at this, and I would imagine that would add the value. Murray Sawchuck's magic career. Murray Sawchuck, the blonde-haired authority on all things magical, has been a show staple for a long time. Some people are unaware that the magical whiz is a well-known figure in his own right. What did these things go for? This jacket, I would estimate, would go anywhere between thirty-four and forty-two thousand dollars. Sawchuck labeled himself the Dennis the Menace of the industry after performing as a magician and performer since he was a child. He has traveled his act across the world and even appeared on season 5 of America's Got Talent where he did quite well in his appearances on the show. Considering how much he does outside of work, valuing ancient artifacts is such a little portion of his job. The 44-year-old also hosts the Pawn Stars live events which tour across the United States. Expert Botched Items The show might have you believe that these experts are straight up honest and just giving their fair opinion based on their knowledge, but some people think that it's all a con to make a quick buck. He's been collecting this stuff for almost 20 years, and some of his items are in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So I'm hoping he can tell me more about these pieces and what they're There have been multiple allegations of experts either overpricing an item to help the Harrisons receive a higher price from a buyer or underpricing an item to fool the Harrisons. In other situations, the experts have exposed themselves by simply not understanding what they're talking about. So with all of that in mind, I would value it at about 3000 Rebecca Romney owned up to her mistakes. Rebecca Romney is a firm fan favorite on the show. The rare book buff is beautiful as well as incredibly intelligent, so she quickly built up quite a fan base out of all the experts on the show. Oh. Crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, because I dream some really weird stuff, so... Uh... <laughs> Don't we all, though? And this was the precedent. Unlike the majority of the experts on the show, Rebecca appears to be mostly trustworthy, having made only one error in her dozens of appearances. Romney claimed that a copy of Dwight D. Eisenhower's Crusade in Europe was a first edition when it wasn't, claiming that she had been heavily researching a different book before filming and had mixed up the two. The mistake wasn't discovered until another expert watched the episode and emailed her to let her know. Rebecca, rather than ignoring it, admitted it on her blog. That line. Some of these scenes are kind of funny too. Look, Rick, I found you. <laughs> Look. See the merchant who's all upset that Death's taking his money? This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like and subscribe buttons, hit the notification bell for more videos like this, and share this video with your family and your friends. See you soon.